When I draw marshmallow pie, I always start with the eyes. You don't have to, there's no rules, but that's what I do. And cats are so good at doing side eye, which means looking to one side. It's very good because it looks like they are sort of disapproving, as if they're just looking to one side, as if to say, what on earth are you doing? Or, or who is that naughty kitten? And they're very good at doing that. And one of the funny things, one of the real life facts about cats is that they can't really do side eyes. They can't actually turn their eyeballs to the side. If they wanted to look that way, they would actually have to turn their heads to the side. So it's not actually a real life thing, but of course in an illustration it's not to do with real life, it's to do with whatever you feel is right. So marshmallow pie gives a lot of side eye. Then I'm going to draw his nose. Their cat's noses are funny little things and I think if you look at Mog's nose, I think it, I think Mog's nose is a little triangle. And for marshmallow pie, his nose is a little heart, just very simple little heart, and an upside down Y for the, for the mouth. So a little stalk here, and uh, he's, I'm going to draw him, I could have, could have drawn him smiling, but I think I'm going to draw him in a little bit of a grumpy, a grumpy face like that. So I always think of that as an upside down Y, capital Y. And now I will start drawing his ears. And he's going to have some ear tufts, some fluff coming out of his ears. And he's even going to have a little, a little ear tuft on the top of his ears like that. And then a tufty top to his head. And then the sides of his face, very full and fluffy. Like that, very wide and fluffy. Now Marshmallow Pie has a bow tie. His bow tie is green, but you could draw it, colour it in any, any colour you like when you or your marshmallow pie. And then we're going to start in on the body, so a big fluffy chest. And what's lovely about drawing fluffy cats, fluffy animals, is that there is no definite outline. It's just as fluffy as you want it. I'm going to draw his, his legs with his front paws together. It's a nice way that cats sometimes sit with their front legs together. Those little paws down here. And the other front leg. Little paws. And then the side of his back leg, just tucked in here. I'm just going to tuck the back paw in underneath there. They sit very neatly, cats. Let's do the other leg. Keeping everything very fluffy and light. And then the other back paw, just tucked in, tucked in there. And now I get to do the tail. And he has a magnificent and wonderfully fluffy tail. So in order to show it in all its best glory, I'm going to just do it up in the air. Like this. So there he is. I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in. So that little heart shaped nose will be pink.
His eyes will be green. And his bow tie will be green. But as I said, whatever you fancy for your picture of marshmallow pie. And so there he is. No, I have forgotten something. I have forgotten something extremely important. I'm going to get a finer black pen. Of course, his whiskers. And I do three on one side and three on the other. And I once heard that a cat's whiskers keep growing as they as in their life, so they actually get wider. If a cat gets wider, their whiskers get wider too. I think it helps them judge what kind of a what kind of a space they can get through. I think I think that's what the purpose of whiskers. One of the purposes of whiskers is is to is to try and gauge a gap that a cat can get through. So, well, Marshmallow Pie is a big cat, and so I think he would have big whiskers. And I'm just going to do his signature. I'll just do it in pink again. And his signature, of course, will be a paw print. So there he is, Marshmallow Pie. Can't wait to see how you get on with your with your drawings. <laughs>